What's up gamers? It's above and in today's video we'll be covering everything you need to know about Grandmaster Nightfalls in Season of the Haunted. This video aims to provide you guys with a one-stop shop for everything you need to know this season, including the Grandmaster schedule, singes, weapon drops, and much more. If you guys enjoyed today's video, a like and subscription would be greatly appreciated. Now let's get into it. To kick things off, we have Grandmaster Nightfalls releasing on Tuesday, July 5th, which means you guys have 10 days to get to the appropriate power level of 1585, which is required to enter the GM playlist. July 5th will bring us Proving Grounds as our first Grandmaster Nightfall, followed by Insight Terminus on July 12th, Warden of Nothing on July 19th, The Corrupted on July 26th, Inverted Spire on August 2nd, and Arms Dealer on August 9th. This Nightfall rotation will then restart with proving grounds once arms dealer has finally made its appearance in the grandmaster playlist it's also worth noting that if you guys have previously acquired the base conqueror seal that all grandmasters will be available via the node to help guild your seal day one of the new grandmaster season if you guys haven't previously acquired conqueror you'll need to do the nightfalls one at a time each week to acquire your very first conqueror seal keep in mind that the adept weapon rewards for grandmasters is subject to change but was based on the master nightfall schedule so far this season however if bunch decides to change things up on a week-to-week -week basis that's out of our control but you can use this image as a general reference point as I noted earlier, the first Grandmaster will be Proving Grounds and will be dealing with both Barrier and Unstoppable Champions. The most efficient weapon to deal with these is obviously Arbalist, but if you guys don't have that available to you, Ariana's Vow not only works with the Solar Singe for this Nightfall, it's also a great backup option for anti-barrier champions. We also have Unstoppable, so make sure you guys bring something like a Scout Rifle. I think Vouchsafe from the Dreaming City is a fantastic shout, especially with the volume of Void Shields we have in this nightfall you'll also be dealing with solar and arc shields but a lot of this is rng in the tank room in terms of what the shield affinity of the centurion that spawns in the middle of the tank room is in terms of heavy weapons seeing that this nightfall is solar singe i highly recommend utilizing cataclysmic from the vow of the disciple raid it's a great option and gives you fantastic ammo economy and if you guys don't have this at your disposal something like sleeper simulant is also a fantastic option but you'll need to lean more heavily on the seasonal artifact mods to stun your champions. Silicon Neroma will be your adept reward for this Grandmaster Nightfall, with my ideal role being triple tap in column 3 and firing line in column 4. Next up, we have Insight Terminus, and similar to Proving Grounds, we'll need to come prepared for both Barrier and Unstoppable Champions. This Nightfall will feature both Void and Arc Shields, and will have a Void Singe tied to it as well. The weekly featured weapon will be the Adept version of the DFA Hand Cannon, and some weapons to help you get through this Grandmaster are Arbalist to cover the Barrier Champions, Unstoppable Scout such as the Vouchsafe to cover the Bevy of Void Shields, as well as handle the Long Range Engagements, but Truth Teller will be an MVP in this Nightfall due to its Void Affinity and ability to blind enemies while capturing the plates in the boss room. I'd also recommend Threaded Needle to take advantage of the Void Singe in the Heavy slot and have fantastic ammo economy against Kargan's massive health bar. In terms of weapon rolls on the DFA, I'd recommend Perpetual Motion and Opening Shot for PvP and Outlaw and Timed Payload for PvE Endgame. Next, we have Warden of nothing and this is the only grandmaster in the nightfall rotation to feature all three champion types we'll also need to cover both void and solar shields and this nightfall will feature a solar singe as well the weekly featured weapon will be the adept plug one and in terms of my recommended weapons i'm not going to recommend every single slot to you guys but some important things to note are bringing a divinity to manage the overload champions as well as weapons like sleeper or cataclysmic to not only take advantage of the singe but make the final boss bake significantly faster time is of the essence in this nightfall so you want to plan your loadouts around baking the boss more than anything in terms of my recommended roles on the plug one i would recommend feeding frenzy in column three and reservoir burst in column four next we have a grandmaster that is notorious amongst guardians for its difficulty during previous seasons but has actually become significantly easier over time in the corrupted we'll need to come 
prepared for both unstoppable and overload champions and be able to cover all three shield types. This Grandmaster has an Arc Singe and the Adept Weapon Reward will be the Horror's Least Pulse Rifle. As for my recommended weapon loadouts, Wither Horde and Forbearance will do work in both the Elevator and Boss Rooms to help you clear ads, while the Storm Chaser will help you melt the boss with the Arc Singe in literal seconds. Make sure to keep an eye out for my full guide so that you guys can better understand how you're going to bake this boss. In terms of my Horror's Least God Roll, you're going to be looking for either Perpetual Motion or Heating Up in Column 3, and either Vorpal or Frenzy in Column 4. Next up, we have one of the most farmable Grandmasters this season in the Inverted Spire. We'll need to come prepared for both Barrier and Unstoppable Champions, have the ability to cover all three shield types, and we have Arc Singe yet again. The weekly featured Adept weapon is the Hothead Rocket Launcher, and my ideal weapon loadout would consist of Arbalist to manage Anti-Barrier, one Divinity to manage the Overload Champions, and something like Storm Chaser or Hothead in the Heavy slot to take advantage of the Arc Singe for the boss bank. In terms of my recommended god rolls for the Hothead Rocket Launcher, there are so many good perks on this thing, and this is arguably the most meta archetype of rockets that we have available at the moment. The only downside is that the rockets don't track, and if you're missing your rockets, you're not doing damage. So I would recommend tracking module in column 3 and clown cartridge in column 4. But you can also go with things like auto loading, explosive light, depending on preference. The last Grandmaster on our list is also highly farmable in the Arms Dealer. We'll need to come prepared for both Barrier and Unstoppable Champions, and be able to cover both Void and Solar Shields. This Nightfall also features a Solar Singe, and the weekly featured Adept Weapon will be the Duty Bound Auto Rifle. In terms of my recommended weapons, you'll want one Arbalist for Barrier Champions, one Unstoppable Scout, one Divinity to help with the Boss Bake, and either Galahorn or Sleeper Simulant for the boss bake in your heavy slot. In terms of my recommended rolls for the duty bound auto rifle, I highly recommend stat for all in column three and one for all in column four. This synergy is absolutely fantastic for the PVE endgame and makes this auto rifle extremely unique. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know this was a ton of information to cover today, so I want you to think of this as a one-stop shop resource that you guys can reflect back on later in the season. And remember, we'll be releasing full GM guides for every single Grandmaster, as well as ways to efficiently farm the most farmable Grandmasters later in the season. With all of that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like and subscription if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace!